Hi all, today we will see how to do a balloon sinoplasty of frontal sinus. This is the left nasal cavity. As you can see, there is hardly any space. The mucosa is very congested and this actually can cause injury to the normal mucosa. You don't want to operate in this kind of field. So here I am packing the nose with some nasal decongestion. I prefer to use adrenaline with a concentration of 1 in 10,000. This is the topical application. I use either ribbon gauze or you can use cottonoids and that actually helps to decrease the venous load. You always let your anesthetic colleague know that you're using a topical decongestion. Leave it for a couple of minutes and after removing, you can see how beautifully it has decongested. The mucus over there is blanched, white and pale. This has actually increased our space to pass at least two instruments. As this procedure is for frontal sinus, I prefer to pack it in further in the middle meatus. I gently use a Tilly's dressing forceps to pack with the ribbon gauze which is soaked with 1 in 10,000 adrenaline. This steps is are essential and this step actually helps to widen the meatus. You can gently slide in with the Freyer's elevator, making sure that the surrounding mucosa is not injured. We don't want to cause any unnecessary bleeding that can cause visual disturbance. After leaving this for a couple of minutes, you can just take it out and you can see the difference one small trick over here is to protect your instrument tip with the cotton or ribbon gauze so that you are not directly on the mucosa. Once it's nicely decongested, let's go to the second phase that is balloon dilation phase. We use this balloon which has got a red lighting probe in front of it. Now the main important structures we need to identify is we should know where to enter we have to enter the frontal recess. It guides us to the frontal ostium. In the small window, you can see the frontal recess. The boundaries of frontal recess, as everyone knows, medially is by middle turbinate, laterally is by lamina, and anteriorly, that is the most important, is the agar nasi cell. As we gently go in, we can reconfirm with something called as frontal sinus glow. You can see radiologically that's the frontal recess and that is where we have to enter to make sure that we are in the right passage. It's very very easy to cause skull base injury. Now here you can see the frontal sinus glow at around 5 o'clock 6 o'clock position. You keep the balloon inflated for a period of around a minute or so and that is actually helpful to stretch the mucosa and the ostium. Here we are not injuring any mucosa or bony structure. You can see in the small window the red line is the passage where we have entered and that's the place we are targeting. Once the procedure is done we can check using 30 degree endoscope how it looks. We can also use zero degree but in this case I have used 30 degree and you can see how beautifully the ostium has opened up and you can see the posterior wall of the sinus. You advise the patient on regular nasal douching and steroidal sprays. This is a wide frontal ostium. Thank you for listening and watching this. Kindly subscribe for more interesting cases. Please drop down a comment or questions. Happy to answer. Thank you.